Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little review. You know, I've, I've had this for about a month. It's the actual SCX 102 and had some slight issues with it. Within an hour of runtime, I have burned through three ESCs, and we couldn't exactly figure out what was going on with it. And I called them up. And they told me that it was probably, probably my steering servo. So we swapped that out. And surprisingly enough, that's what it was. And then I went in. Eh, did some touch-ups. But for being an RTR, I'm actually I'm pretty impressed with it. I got my light bar hooked up. Now, they didn't send me the factory steering servo because they didn't have one on hand so they sent me the I think it's called the Econo I gotta check here but it is absolutely amazing I got this through A Main Hobbies I got, actually I got everything for this thing through A Main Hobbies and they took pretty good care of me especially when I started having issues with it you know, they sent out the new parts, and as you can see, I did kind of move some stuff around. I got the interior package, which didn't really fit very well, as you can see back here. Yeah, it's about a half inch shy, and kind of, I wanted to hide these bars here a little bit, so I just cut the back seat out and had them run up through there. But so far, you know, everything's good on it. I gotta do some more upgrades to it. Yeah, I've been beating on it pretty good. We got about 10 runs under the battery now. And haven't had any other issues. With these fancy little doodaddies, these D rings. Now, I will say, this is the second bumper I had on here. The first one I did wind up breaking the corner off because, well, my stupid ass dropped it. Actually, I think it cracked the body when I dropped it. Yep, yep cracked it right here by the taillight, which, you know, ain't no big deal. I mean, it happens. It's a left hand body. It's not going to be really all that strong. Got the metal bumper on here. light bar with the metal roof rack. Now I did cheat at the time. My drill was actually in my brother's truck, so I just took my soldering iron and just put some small holes in there. And the screws fit just fine. So, however, right there kind of looks like crap, but it is what it is. And I will say the, the stock tires do suck. They get all gummed up, you lose all your traction. But, you know, it's stock. No, I, mean, I wouldn't ask my stock Jeep to do stuff that I'm trying to make this thing do. And you can see how close the lugs are on there. But when it comes to flex wise, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, it's pretty good. You know, that's about the most of it. I think we can get some more out of her. Now I am going to be doing the hard body on here. I believe it's uh, Asian Tees. That's who has the body, so it's going to go through them. But so far, for what I've all done to this thing, it's held up pretty good. I mean, like I said, I dropped it, busted the bumper on it. It's I beat the crap out of this thing. And I am not nice to my RCs. And I'll, I'll show you in the videos, like my low seat. Well, as you can see, my pull string's a little messed up. And the other day, I ran it through a fence. 
I'll get more to that in another video. Because what I like about this, as you can see, if I can get the light just right, that this does actually have the hole, so you can put the LED kit in here. Unfortunately, it's not like that with the rear, because they are painted on the inside and they got sticker over them. But you can put them in the rear bumper, and it, you know, it kind of looks a little tacky because it's you know down there and not in the actual tail lights. Now when you buy this, the you got to put the door handles on because uh, they have stickers. You got to put this back piece on, which as you can see, I got the holes there, but for some reason, the kit did not come with the screws. It came with the screws for everything else, but for this. So I don't know if it was <coughs> something that they forgot or what. I'm not quite sure on that. But I will get the screw sizes for you guys as soon as I get them. And I did add these on. These stickers do come with the kit here. Same with thing with these here, with these right here. But I'm not really a big fan of stickers. I like. I would actually really like these to be an actual plastic add-on, kind of like door handles and stuff, just to give them more of a realism look. But, like I said, this is a Lexan body, so you can't really ask for too much. I know there's some out there that look really freaking good, but, you know, it is what it is. And the other thing I did to this, I upgraded the receiver to a Spectrum, so I can use my Spectrum controller. But for some reason, I didn't want to connect that first. It took me about 15 minutes to finally get it to go. But I was all good. All right, let's go take it out and play. So this is the controller I'm using for it. It's the DX5R Spectrum. good to go. Let's go beat on it a little bit. No, well, apparently I can't pick my door. Well, let's go right over to the hill here. It's pretty torquey, I'll give it that. I'm trying to do this one handed here. Until it does that. And this is where talk about the tires get full. Surprisingly, it's actually doing pretty good. Today.
gate C from down here. It's actually kind of a steep hill. Pretty good drive, it's only about maybe 15 feet long-ish. About the only other issue I'm having with this thing, watch, it torch. Now I remember somebody saying that there's a way to fix that. truck here and go over to the stairs. Let's drive it off the stairs. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about, tires get all gummed up. Given that had nothing to do with what just happened, because that was just me. Maybe too much weeds here. Yeah. Full speed ahead, Captain. All right, well, there you go. SCX 10 2. So, when I just ended the video, around a little bit more and I actually stripped out the stock steering controller. Which ain't no big deal. <laughs> <laughs>